Hi everybody, I'm Xavier from AeroCoach and welcome to the Wind Tunnel. What we're going to do in this video is help make you faster for your triathlon bike leg or time trial without having to buy a new bike. Now, you should have seen in our previous video how we improved my CDA, my aerodynamic drag, by 13% by changing aspects of my clothing and my helmet and my bike setup. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go even further and try some more aerodynamic improvements in order to speed you up your bike leg. The first thing we're going to do is get a baseline in a racing position. So I'm going to be holding the drops and we'll see what my aerodynamic drag is there and then we'll try and improve it. It's really important to make sure that your position is as aero as possible because the rider accounts for the vast majority of the aero drag. For me personally, the bike accounts for about 21% of the aerodynamic drag and I'm nearly 80%. So getting my position sorted first is going to be really important. So let's get some baseline data and get started. Because your position is one of the most important things in helping to reduce your aerodynamic drag, what we've done is we've put clip-on aero bars on the bike. Now, these aren't more aerodynamic on their own, but they allow you to get into a more aero position. And so, when I'm holding these bars, my elbows will be slightly further in and my hands will be close together, and the air will be able to slip around my arms and move around me a lot more effectively and a lot more efficiently. So we're going to do a test now where we try a position with the new clip-ons and then we're going to try and optimize the clip-on position as well. It's pretty well known that using aero bars is faster, and in this case, we saw a 17 and a half watt improvement in my aerodynamic drag at 30 kilometers an hour by putting the aero bars on. Uh, my initial position though, my elbows were a little bit wider than I think I'd liked, and my hands were quite far forwards. So we moved them in closer, and we moved the extensions a little bit further, uh, closer to me as well, and we saved an additional two and a half watts. Now those savings are at 30 kilometers an hour. If you extend it up to 45 kilometers an hour, so if you're going really fast with a tailwind or downhill, then you're looking, rather than around a 20 watt improvement, you're looking at around a 65 watt improvement uh, in your power output. So you would need 65 watts less to travel at the same speed. That's a big difference. Now, continuing the theme of staying with the rider rather than looking at the bike, what we're gonna do now is change helmet. So we're going to swap from an aero road helmet, and in our previous video we established that this was a, a quicker helmet than my original training helmet. We're going to swap from this to a full aero helmet and see how much difference that makes. Helmets are quite individual, and determining the best aero helmet for you is going to require some kind of testing, whether it's in a wind tunnel or testing in a velodrome or outdoors. Um, but this is a Giro Aero Head and it performs pretty well on most people. Certainly it performs better than a road helmet most of the time. It has an integrated visor, so I'm going to put this on um, and we're going to test to see how much quicker it is than the specialised Evade Aero Road Helmet that I had on earlier. The Giro Aerohead was a little bit faster than the Specialized Evade, about a watt faster at 30 kilometers an hour, um, which is a bit less than what we'd normally see. But as I said before, helmet's individual, so it's quite likely that another helmet is going to be quicker. Uh, but we'll keep with this one for the moment because it is faster, and we're instead we're going to move on to a skin suit. So one of the best investments you can make if you're looking to do time trial or triathlon is getting a really good skin suit or triathlon suit. So this is a long sleeve suit and we'll change that from bibs and jersey and see how much different that, that makes. 
This is a no pins aero coach trip suit. It has seams placed in special locations to manipulate the airflow around the body, as well as different materials in different places, again, to help make you as aerodynamic as possible. Um, it's close fitting and it's a lot tighter fitting than bibs and jersey would be. So, as you may have seen in the previous video, how much difference even a, a better fitting jersey will make, hopefully this will make loads of difference. So, uh, we'll test this now and see how it goes. So as expected, the skin suit was loads faster. It saved five watts at 30 kilometers an hour, and if you scale that up to the higher speeds, so 45 kilometers an hour, it was 17 watts quicker than bibs and jersey combination. So you can see that focusing on your clothing, because the rider is such a big percentage of the overall drag, is really, really important to speed you up. The next thing we're going to do on me is test overshoes. So overshoes will cover my laces and the shoes up, as well as the socks, and we'll see how much difference that makes. The final part of the clothing equation was overshoes. So if you're doing a time trial, you can get away with using overshoes. And these at 30 kilometers an hour were one watt faster, and at 45 kilometers an hour, that increases to three and a half watts. So a definite saving over what was already quite a good setup. The last thing we're gonna do is wheels. Now we already have a fast wheel setup, which you can see the results of in the previous video, but we're gonna go even further. We're gonna put a disc wheel on the back, and an even deeper front wheel on the front. This is an Aox Titan, and this is an Aox Disc. Now, some people worry about putting disc wheels on their bikes, um, but they're always quicker than deep sections, and even though there's a very small weight penalty, aerodynamically, they're a much, much better choice. If you're worried about windy conditions too, actually, putting a disc wheel on the bike stabilizes it by moving the center of pressure away from the front wheel and reducing the amount of steering axis force that you get. So putting a disc wheel on the bike for a time trial or triathlon is absolutely essential. We're gonna swap those now and see how much difference they make over a pair of 78 mil wheels here. So compared with the deep section wheels we had on before, swapping to a rear disc wheel and an even deeper section on the front at 30 kilometers an hour was just over two watts faster, and this was seven and a half watts quicker at 45 kilometers an hour. So we finished our test, and if we take my starting position, which was in the drops with bibs and jersey and a road helmet, to the finishing setup, which had disc, deep section, skin suit, aero helmet, and aero bars, crucially, there was a massive drop in my aerodynamic drag. We took 29% off my CDA. Now, to put that into perspective, that's the equivalent of saving 29 watts at 30 kilometers an hour, or, nearly 100 watts at 45 kilometers an hour. Now, I hope that's highlighted the importance of aerodynamics for you, um, especially at the higher speeds, and please subscribe to our YouTube channel, where you'll see more videos like this, which can help you get faster, and in this instance, to get faster, saving nearly 100 watts at 45 kilometers an hour without changing your bike. Thanks very much, and we'll see you next time.